Now this problem is related to disk and winding the string. Let us read this problem. disk is falling we have to find acceleration of disk let us say this is falling with acceleration a and this is rotating with angular acceleration alpha if I consider a point here point a this will have two acceleration and upward acceleration we will have alpha times r where r is the radius of disk since this point is a stationary this will have zero velocity or we can also say this is a case of pure rolling so this will have zero velocity point of contact has zero velocity it will also have zero acceleration so we can write a minus alpha r is equals to zero that is a is equals to alpha r now let us find what are the forces that is acting over this disk one force mz another force tension now we can write two equation for one for translational motion force in the downward direction mz minus t is equals to mass into acceleration we can also write one equation for rotational motion we can take torque about center of mass is equals to I about center of mass into acceleration so torque we will have T into R this distance is R because radius moment of inertia about center of mass is half mR square because this is a disk angular acceleration is alpha so we will have T is equals to half m r alpha now we know r into alpha is a so we can plug this value now from equation 1 we will have mz minus t t is m a by 2 is equals to m a a cancels so we will have z is equals to 1 plus 1 by 2 so 3 by 2 a is equals to z so acceleration is 2 z by 3 so disk is falling with an acceleration z by 3 we can also do the same problem using energy conservation let us say initially this disk is somewhere here and now this disk has fallen through a distance so this is initial situation and this is final situation 
So there is a loss of potential energy. Let us say this height is x. So we can say loss in potential energy is equal to mgx. Now there is a gain in kinetic energy, one due to angular motion, another due to rotational motion. So we can say gain in kinetic energy. This is translational kinetic energy half mv square plus rotational kinetic energy half i omega square. So this is v square plus I can put the value of let us say i i is m r square by 2 because this is a case of disk. So we can take half m common. So this is v square plus omega square r square by 2. Now this is a case of pure rolling so this point will have zero velocity. A has two velocity v in the downward direction and omega r in upward direction. So v is equals to omega r. So we can write half m v square plus v square by 2. So this is 3 by 4 m v square. So we can say loss in potential energy is equals to gain in kinetic energy. Potential energy loss is m g x and kinetic energy gain is 3 by 4 m v square. Now let us differentiate this equation both sides with respect to time. So this will be 3 by 4 2 v d v by d t d x by d t is v. So we will have 3 by 2 v d v by d t. So v cancels. So we will have d v by d t and d v by d t is nothing but acceleration of disk. and this is equals to 2 z by 3. So whenever you have a problem of pure rolling it can always be done by two method. One is writing Newton's law another way to write energy conservation.